What if another Earth is out there? A world with blue oceans, green forests, and breathable air orbiting a distant star in some forgotten corner of the galaxy. We call it Earth 2.0, and for the first time in human history, we might actually be close to finding it. Just 30 years ago, we didn't know if planets even existed outside our solar system. Now, thanks to powerful telescopes and clever techniques, we've confirmed over 5,000 exoplanets, and the numbers are growing every week. But most of these worlds are nothing like Earth. We found hot Jupiters orbiting perilously close to their stars, gas giants with multiple moons, ocean planets where it rains molten glass, and lava worlds locked in eternal day and night. Among them, a handful stand out, rocky planets about Earth's size orbiting in what's called the habitable zone, the not-too-hot, not-too-cold region where liquid water could exist. But habitability isn't just about location. To be a true Earth 2.0, a planet needs the right conditions, water, atmosphere, gravity, and stability over billions of years. It needs plate tectonics to regulate climate, a magnetic field to shield it from radiation, and just enough chaos to drive evolution, but not so much that it wipes everything out. So far, none of the candidates check every box, but some come intriguingly close. Kepler 452b, sometimes nicknamed Earth's cousin, orbits a sun-like star and might have clouds and water. TOI 700d is a rocky world in the habitable zone, just 100 light years away. And then there's the TRAPPIST-1 system, seven Earth-sized planets around a single dim star. Three of them might be in the perfect zone for life, but these planets are still just dots. We don't know if they have air, water, or the chemistry of life. Until recently, we couldn't even look. That changed with the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope. For the first time, we can analyze the atmospheres of distant exoplanets, sniffing out molecules like carbon dioxide, methane, or even oxygen. These aren't just data points. They're clues to alien oceans, alien weather, maybe even alien life. The ultimate goal isn't just to find another Earth. It's to understand our place in the universe. If life can happen here, it might happen there. And if Earth 2.0 exists, it raises a deeper question, are we alone? The hunt continues, planet by planet, star by star. And the biggest discovery of all might be just one world away.